hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, the sleep has gone a wide. I'm not saying it was uncomfortable or anything, but I had to switch places because I ended up sleeping in the bathroom because I've absolutely had enough of Miss Piggy snoring and it really got on my nerves and I couldn't even get any rest. But since we're now on the next day now, as we're just getting ready, we'll just shortly go down to Weatherspoon to get some breakfast and then Shortly, we'll jump on the train to Cardiff Central and we'll see what it has to offer in the capital city of Wales. Uh, first time actually going to Cardiff as well. Quite looking forward to be seeing what else is there. And once we come back, we will do stuff on the beach and we'll spend the rest of our money that we have there. So without any further ado, let's get ourselves prepared and we'll meet you at Barry Station. And welcome to Barry Station, which is just a two minute walk from Weatherspoons, where we've just gotten our breakfast. And now let's train it to Cardiff. Barry is operated by Transport for Wales and it has three platforms and a frequent surface going into Cardiff. Uh, and trains are every 15 minutes and we'll be jumping on board for 10.45 Transport for Wales service to Aberdare but we will be going as far as Cardiff Central. And here's our train arriving from Barry Island now which is a class 150 Sprinter. I have not been on these trains for a while now. I used to ride on these trains on the Snow Hill lines a lot back in the older days uh, and it's quite a surprise seeing them still running in Wales. Let's jump on board, find a seat and we'll get going. And I may as well sit right near the toilet where I get a lot of legroom and something to put my bottle down. And after a short time of waiting, we are now departing Barry as we now make our way over to Cardiff Central, which will take about 25 minutes as we make a few stops along the way. And straight after departing Barry, we can see Transport for Wales new Class 756 trains, which will replace these 150s that we're currently riding on on the South Wales line. Not far off until they are in service. Shortly after leaving Cadoxton station, this is where the train can pick up some speed until we get to Dinopire station. We also pass underneath Coldbrook. The train did get a little bit more busier after we left Eastbrook and we are almost getting close to Cardiff itself as we are now arriving at Grangetown where you can alight for Cardiff City Football Club and other trains to Penarth, which is another seaside town. The Principality Stadium can be seen just on the approach to Cardiff Central as we now join the Great Western and South Wales Main Line as we are now arriving into Cardiff Central Station which we will be getting off in just a moment. And it turns out we are arriving on Platform 7. And there goes our train continuing on its trip to Aberdare. Mr. Seagull casually just waiting for the next train to Queen Street. Well, that was a nice ride on that train. Absolute classic that was. It's been a while since I last rode on that train. It's good to be riding that again, but since we're now at Cardiff Central, let's have a look around the city centre. Never thought I'd see watches this expensive, but have a look at this one. You're gonna buy for a gold watch. You're my best bitch. You don't see it. It's a lot like the Look 
look at what you've got of one. A quick stop in Sports Direct to pick up some stuff. And what's in the box? That's some nice shoes right there. And it seems like we're getting rather hungry now. So let's grab a snack and get a donut. And here comes Waitress Milo with our donut. I decided to take the chocolate one while Milo takes an Oreo donut. Dropping Oreos down his shirt, uh, 40 years. Yep, yeah, he's enjoying it. And now it's time for me to try out my chocolate donut. And it turns out to be very delicious indeed. Whilst Lowen didn't want any of that, decided to go for an Oreo milkshake. So you've now joined us outside of the shopping centre now. Had a nice little walk around the city centre of Cardiff. Quite a nice place I must say, nice shopping centre. Quite busy as it should be. We're just going to make our way back over to Cardiff Central Station now as we're about to get the train back to Barry. Um, according to the times though, there is a 12.41 to Bridge End, but that one will probably go before we even reach the station. There's a 12.55 to Barry Island, but that unfortunately has been cancelled by having a lock on Traxi. And then there's the 13.10 to Barry Island, which should be the one that we should get from Cardiff Central. And here's the main entrance to Cardiff Central Station. We appear to go out on the wrong exit. So this is the main entrance. And here's the inside of the concourse. We'll just get through the ticket barriers and we'll make our way over to Platform 8, where we await our train, which Took about half an hour since there was a cancellation. I thought I'd do a bit of train spotting for a different video. You can watch the end outro. But minutes before our train arrived, there was a platform change. So we now have to go over to platform seven to catch the Barry Island train. And this one got rather busy because a lot of people was gonna get on that 12.55, that, but that was canceled. So everyone has to be merged onto this one. This train would have gone further to Aberdeer, but due to the congestion on the platforms here, it was cancelled and instead was re reversed to go back to Bowie. And we've left Cardiff Central seven minutes late, not just because of how busy it is, but it took a little bit of time to get a wheelchair person on board. Uh, but as we're now leaving Cardiff, we're now making our way back over to Bowie. Welcome back to Barry Station. We're now back at Barry Island. We just have to pick up the car from the hotel. We're going to use the last few tokens on the ride and then something special just appeared. Something must be so special with Dave's coaches. It must have appeared on Gavin and Stacey too. It actually appeared on one of the episodes. Season 1 episode 6 where you can see it. Uh... And I thought we'd spend some time at Whitmore Bay Beach and as we will play a bit of cricket. One person bats, one person throws and one other person in the field waiting to catch the ball to get the batter out. And time is running out and before we head back to the Midlands, I thought we would grab some souvenirs. Here inside the shop you can find Wales magnets, a lot of badges of Gavin and Stacey, you can buy your own merchandise here, and a few cooking aprons. I should buy myself one of these. There's also a Welsh sheep which costs quite a bit. And you'd find yourself a lot more in this gift shop uh, as many to choose from and this is what we brought we have brought two dr peppers and a tea tower those will be some great memories of barry island wouldn't it and there we have it guys that is our time here finished at barry island and we're now making our way back to the west midlands now it's been a nice time there going on the amusement park playing arcades then riding a train into the capitola and checking out all the stuff there that was a good time as well and since we're all done with all of that we're gonna wrap up today's vlog here thank you all so much for watching i really hope you all enjoyed and if you want to see more videos like this one please ensure you do like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one until next time bye guys see ya